Hey guys, let's discuss another problem on statistics. This problem says the final marks in the mathematics of 30 students are as follows. So you can see here, these all are the observations for 30 students. Now, what are the questions asked belonging to these observations? First problem says, arrange these marks in ascending order where you need to take the class size as 30 to 39 that will be one group 40 to 49 that will be second group etc so that's how you are going to arrange the data in the second problem they are saying that if 40 is the passing marks then how many students got failed in the third problem they are asking how many have scored 75 or more than this in the fourth problem they are saying that which observations between 50 and 60 haven't actually appeared now fifth problem says how many have scored less than 50 so we'll answer these problems one by one using the observations so let's move on what you have to do in the for the first problem you need to arrange the data in ascending order so that's what we have done we have arranged the data in ascending order by grouping the data or taking the class interval of 30 to 39 as our one group 40 to 49 as our second group so that's why we'll keep on going until 100 to 109 arrives because our uh, maximum marks in this is 100 so this paper is of 100 marks a student getting marks between 30 and 39 is 37 39 so how many students are there there are two students in the interval of 30 to 39 in the interval of 40 to 49, how many students have scored marks between 40 to 49? You can see here 48, 48 and 44. There are exactly three students who scored marks between these intervals. So that's you can that's you are going to do for all these intervals and that's why I have written all these marks which are falling under this. So this will give you the frequency. This is the class interval. These are the observations which are falling under these intervals and all these, all these number of students are the frequencies for these intervals. Now for the second problem. In this second problem they have asked as 40 is the passing marks for a student. So how many students have got failed? So as 40 is the passing marks, so students who scored less than 40 will be the students who got failed. So let's see. Here scoring less than 40 which is 37 and 39 so there are exactly two students who got failed why because they scored less than 40 marks now let's move on in third problem they have asked what are those students or how many students are there who scored marks 75 or more than that so here there are eight students how let's count them students who scored more than 75 marks 77, 78, 70 and all these marks. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Why 8? Because you need to include 75 as well. Because in the question they were asking how many have scored 75 or more than that. So that's why there are exactly 8 students. Now in the fourth question they are asking which observations between 50 and 60 haven't actually appeared. Now let's see, here you can see that in the interval of 50 to 50 to 60, in these intervals, what are the missing observations? You can see here, there is 53, there is 52 as well, but there is no 51. So that is missing. There is no 54, that is also missing. 55 is there, 56 is there, 57 is not there. 58 is there, 59 is there and 60 is also there. So what are the observations which are missing? 60, 51, 54 and 57. These are the three observations which are missing in the interval of 50 to 60. And our fourth problem was saying students who scored marks less than 50. So there are exactly five students. How? You can see here in all, in all these intervals here 50, here is the limit of 50. Now, students who scored marks less than 50 will be all these students, which means there are exactly 5 students who scored marks less than 50. Now, I really hope there should be no doubt. I have 
answered all these problems one by one and that too very following the very easy steps. I will be taking more problems in the coming video lectures so that you can understand statistics in detail. Thank you.